Hey everyone, my name is GamerCory and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over three separate things and the first one being where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today. The second thing that we're actually going to go over is all the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all the daily challenges so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it by starting off with Madame Nazar's location. Now, Madame Nazar's location is actually going to be a little bit out west, a little bit west of Blackwater in the Tall Trees area. That will make Manzanita Post the fast travel destination of choice for today. So just go ahead and make your way uh, from Manzanita Post and go pretty much north, or you guys can always come in from Blackwater. Either way will work just fine. But if this is the only thing that you guys came here for today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. It really does help me out. It shows your support to the channel, tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos. And honestly, if it helped you guys out, it could, this could help out a lot of other people because they could get promoted to many other people here on YouTube by you guys just actually leaving a like. A like does more than you possibly imagine. Let's get this thing up to like at least a few hundred likes. Can we do that for today? That would be fantastic. Let's do that today. Awesome. You guys rock. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. And that's going to be talking about the daily collection sets and their current cycles. Now, personally, I like to go after the coins and the lost jewelry if I'm going to do any type of collecting at all. Just because you guys do make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time possible. You're looking at $540 per hour in about three to three and a half hours worth of time. Now going after the coins and the lost jewelry, you guys do need the field shovel and also the metal detector. So just bear that in mind. So with that with that in mind, let's go ahead and get into it. So we got coins are gonna be a part of cycle number six. And then we have the lost jewelry, which is gonna be a part of cycle number five. Now the other two sets that will require the field shovel or the metal detector are going to be the arrowheads at cycle number six and the family heirlooms at cycle number four for today so definitely go ahead and check those out now the next four sets i'm actually about to go over you don't even need to be a collector at all to collect them however you do need to be a collector in order to sell them so i advise getting that collector bag as soon as you possibly can because honestly you'll be making a majority of your money in red dead online by being a collector so this is what you guys need to have as soon as you possibly can because you guys can make over four thousand dollars every single day by being a collector so just do it you'll be very happy that you did all right so we got american wildflowers at cycle number two we have tarot cards at cycle number five the bird eggs at cycle number six and the last but not least is going to be the antique alcohol bottles at cycle number five all right so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing and that's going to be talking about the daily challenges before we actually do that I want to take all, to just talk a little bit about my live streaming. I do live stream every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you guys are looking for those times, you guys can check out my website, which is GamerCorey.com. That will definitely point you in the right direction. Also, I do set up a schedule about 12 to 24 hours prior to me live streaming. So you can also check my channel. Um, but once you find out what my times normally are, then like... You know 12 hours prior to that i'll try to get everything up and on my website and on youtube so that you guys can actually participate in that live stream we had a great time today on the live stream so if you guys join me thank you guys very very much for doing that all right so let's go ahead and break down these daily challenges we got five chain pickerel caught three is cooked seasoned flaky fish we got one hairstyle updated one place top three in a showdown we got three player kills with Deadeye in free roam events, three player kills in Posse Versus, and then a five wild mint pick. We have Drink Your Own Strong Moonshine. We have two Moonshine Bar Drunken Player Interactions, one Moonshine sold with five minutes left. We have three deadly predator carcasses or skins donated to Crips. We have 20 donations to Crips, two resupply missions completed, one antique alcohol drunk, Three collectibles found with a shovel. Three lost jewelry found. We have two bounties brought in from New Austin posters. 
two bounties tagged with tracking arrows and then last but not least we have one player bounty collected all right let's go ahead and break these down here in just a second before we do that let's just talk about the daily challenge 11 gold bars each and every single day honestly it's the best way of earning gold unless there is double or triple gold offered here in red dead online that is it is the best way of earning it's you can do it really really quick but there's only two requirements in order to get 0.5 gold per daily challenge that is or to get up to that 11 gold bars and that is to complete a daily challenge streak of at least 21 days in a row with only completing one daily challenge and then maintaining one going forward and then the next requirement is to make sure that you guys are ranked 10 in each of your current roles and have all four of them currently purchased so just do those two things and you guys will get access to 19 daily challenge let's break these down shall we five chain pickerel caught uh, you guys can do this in a variety of different spots uh, from the Dakota area. You can do this really close to Calaga Hall. Uh, for the most part, any you can do this on the lower Montana River if you guys would really, really like to do that. Um, uh, you can use the... Uh, oh, what is that? The special spinner. That is one opportunity in order to actually... Um, catch those otherwise if you guys are actually looking at trying to get um uh, the chain picker with like bait then what i would recommend is that you guys go ahead and um i, I believe it's actually bread bait if i remember right I'm trying to think if that's actually what it is i'm pretty sure it's bread bait though um pretty sure i could i feel like I, I don't know i might be wrong on that one it's either bread or corn it's it might be corn i can't remember 100 percent. just I, i'm kind of losing it to be honest but um i would recommend uh like i said dakota river bank any major river you need to be just fine once you guys catch those five chain pickerel or any other fish pretty much except for uh bluegills you're going to want to go ahead and break those down, and that's how you're going to get the flaky fish. And then I also saw down here that we had to pick mint, so that's another way. So, like, we have three daily challenges that really go hand in hand together today. So, you can catch your chain pickerel or any of the other fish besides blue girl gills and break those down and get flaky fish. Obviously, like, the smallmouth bass, you'll get flaky fish as well, but then steelhead trout, you'll get... Um, succulent fish meat same thing with sockeye salmon just be careful on those but any of the smaller ones except for like i said uh, and obviously if you go to like caliga hall area the bullhead catfish will give you bluegills and blue uh the catfish will give you gritty fish meat and you don't want that so and then you once you collect the mint so i'm actually going to go ahead and drop down to the bottom here we got mint picked i'm going to give you guys the location and it's going to be really close to where i'm at because again i spend a lot of time by valentine but you guys can find a lot of it right in this general area. Actually, if you guys come down to here by Limpany, which is that burnt down village, you can find some here. Uh, right about here. Another grouping of it right here. And then up just a little bit further here and also here. If you go just a little bit further up the path, you can actually find a couple right here. You can also find some on the other side. Now, these night might not be like exact, exact locations, but they're going to be pretty darn close. So uh, I think the other one is, I think it's right about there. And then the other one should be like right about there. So uh, lots of different opportunities for you guys to go ahead and click mint. And then you guys just need to find any campfire. Look up that season's flaky fish. Uh, you guys, there's a, there's actually one right behind the, or right across the street from the butcher area uh for a campfire otherwise just go to your camp like at my camp is down on the dakota river bank today so that would give me an opportunity to go ahead and use that all right so let's go back up to the top we got a hairstyle updated we can go to any one of the barbers which um there's one in san denis you've got one in valentine and you've got one in blackwater and those are the only places that i can think of um, and then just update your hairstyle. It'll cost either gold or a little bit of money to get that one completed. Uh, obviously, spend the money. If you're worried about keeping money, then don't do this one. But you will have to spend money or gold in order to get the gold back, virtually. 
We got place top three in showdown. If you're good at PvP, these next two are going to be for you guys, especially place top three. If you're God, not that good and you want to get better, you're just going to get that 0.18 gold bars for every showdown that you participate in anyway. So, But as long as you get top three in one of them, then you'll be able to get that one completed. We got three player kills while well in Deadeye and free roam events. Doesn't matter what weapon you use, just use Deadeye. And you're going to get three kills. It can be like in Des uh, Dispatch Rider, Cold Dead Hands, or Railroad Baron, things like that. Or even Master Archer should work as well with the bow and arrow. Uh, but then we got three player kills in Posse Versus. So this will require you guys to be inside of Posse in order to do that. And then if you guys, for whatever reason, can't start the infighting, then you guys are in a glitched out lobby. That's typical for Red Dead Online because Rockstar doesn't know how to update any of your crap. So let's just be honest about that. Uh, but you'll have to join a brand new session in order to get that one completed. The next one on the list is going to be part of the daily roll challenges. We have to drink our own strong moonshine. So as long as you have a batch brewing or a completed, you guys can actually go ahead and drink that at your bar. Drunken player interaction. This will require another player inside of the, of the shack in order to do this one. Um, you basically both get drunk. You basically slap each other silly, silly and then you have to sober up. You can do this one of three different ways. Number one... There's a, a water barrel um, right as you leave the bar. You can wash your face and sober up. If you leave the shack, you kind of sober up fairly quickly after that. Or you might have to join a brand new session. But each time, try to go back and drink and um, do that drunken player interaction. And see if it works for you guys. The next one on the list is to basically sell your moonshine as fast as possible with having five minutes remaining. You don't have to worry about maintaining the quality uh, or breaking any of your bottles, but... You do both, then you can obviously get paid well, and then get your gold for it on top of that. We have three deadly predator carcasses or skins donated to crypts. The best way to do this is to set up your camp inside of the bayou or blue water marsh area and go after alligators just because you can bring those in. Otherwise, if you guys go like and do that with your, um, your hunting wagon, you can stock up on those and then drop them all off at one time. Either way, you can do them individually or using the hunting wagon. And 20 donations to Crips, I typically like to go after the feathers. It doesn't matter if it's like flight feathers, eagle feathers, whatever. Whatever type of feather that I currently have is what I donate to Crips. We have two resupply missions completed. So these will be a little bit of time in between each of them. That means that uh, you'll probably have to spend 20 minutes to half an hour doing other activities in, in between each of those resupply missions. You have to drink one antique alcohol drunk. So if you guys are doing any type of... Uh, Collecting, then go ahead and drink that if you guys have some in your satchel right now then you guys can just go to drink it I recommend all of them but the Caribbean rum because the Caribbean rub will actually give you the opportunity to create a special recipe at the moonshine shack we got three collectibles found with the shovel and then we got three lost jewelry so technically the three lost jewelry could be done together if you guys get the right ones so, so typically they do require the field shovel or the metal detector but if you got the metal detector you will always use the field shovel but some of the lost jewelry can be just found in random places so you might not always be using um you know the uh the field shovel so just keep that in mind so these two can kind of be done together and last but not least, we have the Bounty Hunter roll, which is the only roll that does pay out additionally in gold. We got two bounties brought in from new Austin posters. So that's Tumbleweed, Benedict Point, and Armadillo. Then we got two bounties brought or tagged in with tracking arrows. Um, obviously, you're going to have to have the pamphlet. That's going to cost you like five to $600. I can't remember what the exact price is anymore. The only time that you're ever going to use tracking arrows, honestly, is for the daily challenge. So if you guys don't have the money to buy the pamphlet, don't buy it. It's not worth it. But if you have enough money and you don't or don't care about your money, then go ahead and get this one. And then you guys need to get the ingredients in order to craft up the tracking arrows before you can actually use them. And then we got one player bounty collected, which is the last one of the daily challenges for today. Uh, the best way to do this is with a friend. Basically have your friend not in the same posse basically kill you. And then you guys keep pressing charges on them. And then once that player bounty is offered, you just... Br bring them in and then you return the favor by basically letting them do the exact same thing to you so that is what i recommend that you guys go ahead and do for that player bounty otherwise you can try to legitimately have it happen which may or may not actually happen probably not it probably won't happen but if you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges by any means go ahead and leave a comment down below because i'd love to be able to help you out if i possibly can but if you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful 
in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.